take a step back in time and learn more about the massive creatures that once roamed the earth as the Dino Festival returns to Martinsville this weekend. Yeah, and here with a sneak peek at the event taking over the Virginia Museum of Natural History, we have the assistance curator, Dr. Alex Hastings. Thanks hey. so much for coming on. Glad to be here. So Absolutely. tell us about the event. All right, so the event is two days. It's going to be Friday and Saturday, um, and uh, going to have a ton, a ton, a ton of really awesome, fun dinosaur things for the entire family. It's an absolute all ages thing. Um, we're going to have a dinosaur maze. It's going to have tons of dinosaur stuff jammed in every corner. So even if you take a wrong turn, you're going to find fun, cool stuff. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you might even like want to get lost on purpose. Um, and we're going to have a ton of stuff from our collections here. Uh, we're going to have real dinosaur bones people are going to be able to see and touch um, from a lot of the different digs, including uh, the one that we just got back from a couple weeks ago. Um, plus, we're going to have exhibitors from five different places, University of Lynchburg, App State. They're all going to be bringing fun dinosaur stuff, too. So wow. it's going to be a big, giant celebration of dinosaurs. I love it. Oh, All right. Yeah. Well, I want to hear about that dig in just a second, sure. but you know, I just watched <clears throat> Jurassic World with my girls, so we're really interested in this. So tell us a little bit about what you brought. Right. So we got uh, a couple different ages of dinosaurs here. So uh, we'll start right here. This is actually just one piece of one toe from a triceratops. A right. So this bone right here is the equivalent of just that part of one finger right here. And that's, of course, Triceratops, the guy with the three horns, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh big gosh. animals, right? So big, big animals. Um, just to keep on that, though. So Triceratops has a beak in the front, right? Mm -hmm. So this okay. is the front lower beak of one of these guys here. So that's that part right there. This is the real thing. This is about 66 million years old. It oh, is from the man. end of the age of the dinosaurs. And what's fun oh, yeah. is our collection also includes young and old. So right here, this is from a, a fairly well-grown Triceratops. But this is from a baby. So we actually have lots of different ages of these animals here. So you can actually understand like how they grow and how they change. So things like you see how sharp the end of this beak is here? Yeah. yeah. That's actually left over from when it had to get out of the egg. So they actually had sharper beaks when they're young. Oh, really? And that kind of evens out as they get older. But that's a really important part of being a dinosaur is being able to get out of the egg so you can, <laughs> yeah, you know, do step one. Yeah, the rest of your life <laughs> there. So yeah, funny. exactly. And this Skull. Right, so that's from Allosaurus. Um, so that's this okay, one, right exactly here. the green one. Uh -huh. um, so this is um, kind of the top predator from the Jurassic, the middle age of the dinosaurs. Okay. And this is kind of long before uh, Tyrannosaurus rex comes along. So it lived okay. alongside um, Stegosaurus. It also lived alongside this guy. This is Diplodocus. So this is one of the big sauropod long neck yep. dinosaurs, mm -hmm. which is what we've got right here. So this is a big rib from one of these dinosaurs. Big, big animals, right? About the size of two school buses put together. Holy wow. cow. What's really cool about this, though, is it actually has tooth marks on it from an Allosaurus here. Wow. So these are actually uh, cases where you've got a Allosaurus not only bit once into the rib here, but bit many, many times. So this is an Allosaur that was uh, having ribs for dinner back during the Jurassic. All right, we oh, only okay. have about 15 seconds, okay. but your, your dig recently. Absolutely. So uh, we were out in Wyoming uh, with the University of Lynchburg. Uh, we got a lot of great dinosaur material from the Jurassic. We're going to have a big sauropod footprint from one of these dinosaurs out for people to see and touch at the festival. That's so awesome. cool. All right, so head on out there this weekend.